tour this one of a brand new 2020 winnebago revel so this one is decked to the gills every single option it's in the desert sand exterior looks super cool we have the nice uh, off-road tires and rim kit on here as well uh, really just flows with that 4x4 mercedes just perfectly and remember you have a true four season uh RV here coupled with a really go anywhere 4x4 machine so you can go anywhere any time of year which really gives you true freedom that a lot of uh, class B owners are looking for so um, won't run into any issues anywhere you want to go whether it's um, skiing in the mountains or going into the desert you're going to be good to go you have 200 watts of solar on the roof three AGM batteries. Nice thing about those is those will even work in freezing temperatures. Uh, so that will give you enough power to run just about everything in here except the air conditioner. So you have to have a separate power source for that. Everything else will work just fine. It runs off the uh, diesel heating system. So it's actually a hydronic heating system. Uh, so you'll actually get uh, sort of less less dry heat, if that makes sense. Uh, so you get radiant heat throughout rather than forced air, which really dries out that air, makes your skin crack and things like that. So perfect for cold weather and uh, runs right off the diesel fuel. So you don't need to uh, be plugged into a propane source. In fact, there's no propane on board at all. It just doesn't need it. So very cool really goes into that um, anywhere anytime motto of the winnebago revel so we have the roll f uh, screen kit that comes down here and it's easy to get in and out once that's down this opens right up so you can get in and out uh, very easily without bugs coming in we have um, the new big running boards from winnebago that do light up underneath there uh, this, we have a little patio um, table here that comes down, works with your uh, with your power awning up on the top, and you do have a lighted power awning with a wind sensor built right in. So it's a one button push type deal, comes all the way out, turn the lights on on it, and if it gets too windy, you never have to worry, eh, is it a little too windy for the awning? It'll just bring itself in automatically. So super cool on that. Take a quick walk around here. We're going to have some outside outlets. There's also a uh, prep for additional solar. Uh, can The solar charger can handle up to 500 watts. So if you have 200 watts on the roof, you can put an additional panel on the outside if you so desire. And we have the roof ladder and roof rack system up on top. That's going to be mainly good for kayaks and uh, bike hookups. They have all kinds of things for that. And um, that ladder, you can position either there or anywhere along this side of the coach to get up onto the roof if you do have uh, equipment up there. And uh, it does have a nice heavy duty hitch as well as seven pin trailer wiring, can tow 5,000 pounds with your uh, Mercedes Sprinter chassis. So let's open up the back doors. These do open up quite a ways. And we have a rear screen here too. So it really gives you a lot of ventilation, especially with that uh, power vent fan in there. Uh, a lot of times you won't even need to use air conditioning with the screens and the vent as it moves a ton of air uh, all throughout. So uh, let's take a look. We have uh, removable tie downs really kind of all throughout here. There's going to be, well, that's going to be venting for your furnace right there. Uh, one of the radiators for that. Uh, Plug-ins all throughout. We're going to have um, outside shower, easy quick connect there. Water pump switch, easy to get at. Porch light, easy to get at. We'll even have some uh, additional outlets here, 12 volt, 110. And those are really strewn all throughout the coach. Plenty of outlets really everywhere. So, on this side, really love this color, it's such a cool looking color. Um, so, 
taking a look at our nice aggressive uh, wheels there and uh, we do have the cassette toilet system here beauty of that is remember all the tanks are heated the hydronic heating system basically runs glycol throughout everything um, which which heats the hot water and heats the coach and they wrap those heated glycol pipes around all the um, um, holding tanks for your gray black and uh, freshwater tanks so this will be heated and the nice thing about the cassette toilet is you can empty this um, in a regular toilet so you don't have to find uh, if you're maybe in Alaska or something and there's not going to be a dump station around for many miles the nice thing is you can empty that anywhere where there's a toilet so it just comes out I think it's actually might be locked right now yeah and in any case it pulls out just like a carry-on luggage suitcase and you can roll it around and um, just dump it right into a toilet flush the toilet and you're done um, down here this is going to be for your gray water and um, that's you know just from the sinks and showers so it's relatively clean water if you're out in the middle of nowhere there's no one seeing you can always pull that wouldn't do it at a campground if you're going to a campground as um, there probably be dump stations there anyway uh, city fill so that's just where you're going to hook up to city water easy enough all right let's take a quick walk around the front really nice uh, front end grill from Mercedes LED lights uh, in combination here fog lights you even have additional running lights up on top that also helps cover the solar panels and then you also have running lights on the running boards uh, along the side here too that uh, work with everything so here we'll have our various different controls for the awning tank fill this can also be converted into an additional bed if you wanted. And um, let's take a step in here. Otherwise, there's going to be two seat belts here, a table that uh, lifts up. And on the coach side here, we're going to have a recessed sink for additional counter space. We'll have an induction stove. So it's basically a strong electromagnet. So it's going to use a lot less power than, say, a traditional electric burner so you do have to get special induction pans those are readily available now though uh, but they save a ton or it saves a ton of electricity there and that works off your 2000 watt inverter so you can run everything in here right off your three AGM batteries you have about 300 amp hours of power as well as that 200 watts of solar then with the 2000 watt inverter you can really run everything in here with the exception of the air conditioner right off the batteries. Our um, S bar diesel system is all controlled here and I give you a thorough rundown on how that all works and uh, basically you can stick a key here so you don't squash somebody for instance uh, that's why they put the key there <laughs> but uh, brings your power bed up and down so when you bring that all the way up it gives you a ton of extra storage space back there for bikes if you want to bring bikes in here kayaks um, any kind of toy that you'd want to bring skis maybe you know a lot of people use these for skiing so solar control is going to be over there a few other controls are going to be over here fridge is going to be down below we have a nice dual purpose bathroom and shower i really like this these are um, treated bamboo wood, so these can actually get wet. That's okay, so you can have like muddy boots, something like that. They can rest on here just fine without wrecking the wood. And these just come out extremely easily. So if you want to use it as a stand-up shower, you just simply take these out. And then you have a full stand-up shower in here. And uh, the toilet's going to be down below here. And that uh, bottom does swivel to any position you want whatever is most comfortable for you and there's a power vent in there too to vent out the moisture okay moving back we'll have our air conditioner up on top uh, we'll have some lights and these do have the uh, dual paned acrylic windows as well to give you a little bit better insulation so regular windows have about 0.5 r value of insulation these have 2.5 so considerably more um, insulation value from your windows uh, so yeah 
that's going to be definitely nice all throughout. You'll have a little bit of additional storage up on top here too. I like that they utilized this this year. It used to be just open up on top. And uh, up front here, these will both swivel around, so that'll be easy enough. You have the nice big 10 inch uh, touch screen from Mercedes here, and that has satellite navigation, Apple, Android, CarPlay, just about everything you can think of. And that's really some of the real beauty of uh, having one of these is the Mercedes chassis as it has active lane keeping assist and uh, gives you blind spot assist, um, adaptive cruise control. It's really going to be uh, the most luxurious chassis out of any of the Class Bs. Harder to get the Mercedes chassis, but uh, when you do get one, they are worth it. Uh, driving one is a breeze, very, very easy. Um, at this length, you know, most pickup trucks are longer than this, so it's going to be great. Um, it has uh, electric steering on board, so steering is a bit easier. It has a um, uh, wind guidance computer on board, standard, uh, so that helps with crosswind assist, keeps you nice and straight. Um, really has, I could go on and on all day about the Mercedes chassis, it is absolutely wonderful. The redesign for this year has been phenomenal. A lot of happy customers with this uh, new chassis. So, um, again, my name is Josh. Should be happy to help you on this uh, 2020 Winnebago Rebel. If you have any questions at all, you can reach me here at 414 281 6330. Please check out our website for current uh, stock availability. That's advancedcamping.com. And if you like this video and want to see more, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much and have a great day.